Royal Rumble is one of my favorite seasons of all time. And I think if you're a wrestling, a professional wrestling fan, it's a great time right now. So we have a lot of hype going into this uh, Saturday's Royal Rumble. It'll be this Saturday on Peacock at 7 p.m. Uh, CST time. And I'll definitely be checking it out. I've actually been really looking forward to this uh, POE premium live event, especially since, you know, we had sort of a little break. So on this video, I wanted to give you my official uh, 2024 Royal Rumble predictions. I think it's going to be no matter what happens. I think it's going to be a great Royal Rumble. The the truth is the roster is just so stacked right now in both the women's and the men's uh, wrestling. So it's just going to be really great. And I think there's just so many different uh, combinations of things that can happen or that can be set up. So overall, I just definitely recommend you to check it out. I think it's going to be great. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll kind of be going over the four main uh, match events, kind of like what I think is going to happen and maybe give some detail surrounding that. But uh, overall, I do want to know what you guys are thinking. So feel free to comment what you think is going to happen. I'm not necessarily saying what I'm saying is going to happen. It's just my prediction and my educated uh, guess. But uh, yeah, who knows what's going to happen? I'll also be talking a little bit about some uh, guest appearances a little bit later. Um, I think there was a couple hinted on um, this last Monday's Raw, so it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. But yeah, again, if you're checking me out, I really appreciate it. Uh, again, this channel is for all. You know, if you like Dragon Ball, you're in the right place. <laughs> if you like Pokemon, you're in the right place. If you like action movies, you're in the right place. If you like Godzilla wrestling, you're in the right place, because that's what we're here to talk about. We do it all here. So starting with the first match which is uh, the for the uh, United States title, which is uh, with uh, Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens, Kevin Steen over there. So <clears throat> I gave this match some thought, right? Because I think it could go either way. And if you tell me, you know what, I think Kevin Owens is going to take it. I could see that happening. Me personally, though, my prediction, I think Logan Paul is actually going to take it. I think he's done a good job at elevating the title. Since when it was with back with Theory and then even with Rey Mysterio, I think it's been elevated. Not as much as I, you know, would hope to. If I'm being honest, I thought it would have been elevated a little bit more. And I think some of that is just because I thought Logan would show up a little bit more. I think it's cool what they did. Pretty creative how he would come out in those segments on SmackDown where he's kind of has little vignettes and little messages as the tournament for the United States was going on, which, by the way, I, I really did enjoy that. I thought it was awesome. I actually thought Santos Escobar was going to take it. I don't know. I didn't think necessarily he was going to beat Logan Paul if he won the tournament, but I honestly thought it was he was going to cheat his way into it. But, uh, you know, we got Kevin Owens, which in theory is uh, is even a better matchup. But anyways, I do think Logan Paul is going to take it. I think he's going to definitely cheat his way <laughs> around this match, and I think he's going to take it and, the re one of the main reasons is I think he's going to take this all the way to WrestleMania, and that's where he's going to drop it. Now, who he's going to drop it to, it's up in the air. I know a couple people were speculating it's probably going to be LA Knight so that he can further elevate the title, but the LA Knight feud with the Bloodline and AJ Styles hasn't been finished yet, so there's really no telling if that's you know going to be the angle or kind of what angle they're going to go, but... Yeah, it's interesting to see. I, I do think Logan's going to win this. I I honestly even think that there might even be a second match where, you know, it's not kind of like it's not over yet and they have a second feud. And who knows, maybe they go into Elimination Chamber and Logan defends it again. But uh, but as far as the Rumble, yeah, I, I think Logan's ta uh, taking it again. I think he's going to walk out still being the uh, World Wrestling Entertainment United States champ. So that's my prediction but what do you think now the four-way is so interesting so for those of you that don't know we got roman reigns and he's defending his title in a fatal four-way versus randy orton uh, la knight and aj styles now if you've been keeping up with smackdown really the main threat has been randy orton even though aj styles and la knight have been in the picture you can just tell that the main threat is Randy Orton. So it's going to be interesting to see who wins. I overall think, you know, Roman Reigns is going to take it again. I really don't see him dropping it in a fatal four away, but hey, crazier things have happened, right? I know there was some discussion in a couple channels 
where they were saying that it actually makes sense for Randy to beat Roman for the title. And then down the road, when Cody faces off against Randy for the title, it would have more of an emotional merit versus, you know, him just trying to take it from Roman again, where it doesn't have to be Roman for Cody to finish the story. But that's just an interesting little theory. I I honestly think it does have some uh, some merit to it, but I don't know. I'm still a little bit on the fence. I just don't see Roman dropping it in a fatal four way. Even though the Royal Rumble is one of the big four POEs, I just don't see him dropping it. Now, what's interesting here is if we go with the, you know, with the assumption that he wins, then that's kind of where we can start brainstorming, you know, what's going to happen in WrestleMania and who's he going to defend. I know we got the potentials of The Rock facing off at Mania, but you know, we haven't really gotten any other info since he gave us that little that little placebo back on Raw when he made his uh his return. But uh, it's going to be interesting for sure. Now, in the Women's Royal Rumble, I'm 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 honestly just as excited for the Women's Royal Rumble, maybe even a little bit more because there's just so many possibilities. I think you're going to have either Bianca Belair or Bailey be sort of the Iron Woman. Where And what I mean by that is the ones that kind of survive throughout the whole match. I think it makes sense for Bianca to maybe start early and she kind of just makes it all the way to the end because she is the EST and that's kind of like her persona. It makes sense. You know, she's the strongest, fastest. So she's going to be giving it that, uh, that 110%. With Bailey, I also think it makes sense because I think they could go with a different angle where kind of similar to Rhea Ripley last year where she was keeping her distance and just fighting when needed and was ended up surviving. I think Bailey would do a similar approach, but obviously like a more heelish approach where maybe she's just waiting in the shadows and knocking people out when they least expect it and she ends up surviving to the end. Now, when it comes to who I think is going to win, there's just so many possibilities. I... I would enjoy, you know, if Becky wins, because then you, you, we get our Rhea Ripley match for Mania. I don't see um, Nia Jax winning, honestly. Like, I know a lot of people on the net right now are, you know, saying don't underestimate her. She's a, you know, she's an upper player. She's a, she's not a mid-carder. That's fine. I'm not saying she is a mid-carder. She's definitely up there because she's definitely feuded with all the top uh, baby faces and even top heels of the women's division. But I just don't see her winning it. I just really don't. When when you look at WrestleMania, you know, finale kind of big matches, and you know, I think of like for example Charlotte Flair, uh, Charlotte Flair versus uh, Rhea Ripley last last WrestleMania. I just don't see it. I don't see Nia Jax walking out of it. If I was a betting man, which I am, I honestly think Bailey's going to take it, and I that's what I'm hoping uh, low key happens because I think with Bailey you have the most options to just tell a very interesting story because if bailey wins they can go with the angle where he's kind of like contemplating you know do i go for Rhea or <laughs> do i go for eo which they've been teasing it and that would be the payoff so i just love the idea of that happening and even if bailey ends up going for Rhea, like i love that idea too because it's like you have you know Rhea who is technically like more of a heel but she's baby face at the same time you know it's kind of hard but then you got bailey who's full-on heel so i just think that would be an interesting match too but uh, overall i don't think we're gonna lose no matter what happens you know if uh becky lynch wins it's gonna be a great match uh i don't see bianca winning this one i don't see her winning it but if she does um that would still be an interesting match because she would more than likely pick eo which would be kind of like that revenge situation where it's hey you know you cost me the belt last time i'm here to i'm here to take it once and for all or if they would actually give us Rhea versus bianca i think that would be just explosive so i don't think it's a good time to be a wrestling fan for sure <laughs> so i don't think we lose and i think that's why you, you know you got to check out this rumble if you're a wrestling fan definitely check it out because i think it's just going to be aside from a good time i, th- I just think we're going to win no matter what the real people who win are going to be us, the fans. But uh, yeah, I really do think Bailey's going to take it. Let me know what you think. Again, there's so many options that can happen. And I think, you know, any of the options that can potentially happen 
our overall just uh, exciting one. So yeah. Okay. So the men's Royal Rumble. Now, one thing I don't know, and, and you know, feel free to comment in the comment section if it's been announced because I, I haven't heard of it, but I don't know if they're going to do the Royal Rumble first and then the Roman match at the end, which they usually do that. I was actually at last year's Royal Rumble um, in Texas. And yeah, the, the men's Royal Rumble actually kicked it off, which was kind of cool because it sets the tone, right? It gets that energy pumping. But the problem is, is if the matches that follow aren't, um, aren't bangers, then it can kind of kill the mood, which did kind of happen with the uh, LA Knight Bray Wyatt match. I mean, it was cool to be there with the lighting, but it was just very difficult to pick up. Rest in peace, you know, Bray Wyatt, but just being honest when it comes to the match itself. But uh, the work was great. It was just, like I said, a very difficult match to keep up with. So that's my only concern. I honestly would hope that they do it like back in the good old days where, you know, the Rumble is the last main event. But so here's my thing. And here's another little prediction I'm throwing at you guys. If they do have the Roman match first before the Rumble, 100% the losers are going to join the Rumble. I can see, you know, LA Knight or AJ Styles or even Randy trying to get into the Rumble. To try to get that last shot. Or even Roman, right? Like if Roman, by some miracle, happens to lose his belt, you best believe he's going to get on the Rumble. And more than likely, he's going to win. 100%. They're going to Brock Lesnar that. <laughs> you know, so. But we'll see. So that's another little interesting little component that's going to make the Rumble very interesting. I do hope they go that route. I really do. Because it's just going to set up more potential storytelling. And it's just going to really throw even more of a curveball. And I think they've done a good job with the Men's Royal Rumble. And overall, I think that's why it's so anticipated because, well, for one, you have the main event scene that is just stacked, right? You got CM Punk, you got Cody Rhodes, and then you got Gunther and, you know, Drew McIntyre, Shinsuke, Damian Priest, which again, I don't have like a confirmed list on who's going to be in it or not besides, you know, the people that have already announced it. But for the most part, I think they're all in it. The only one that I know is not coming out, which is Seth because of his injury. So, what, yeah, so actually let's talk about Seth. So this is what makes it interesting. Because when I look at a prediction for who's going to win this, I'm trying to see, okay, if that happens, are they going to do that? You know, it's like, no, they're probably not going to do that because they got to do that. You know, so that's kind of what I'm thinking about. Trying to put like X, Y, Z and taking it from there. So this is where I'm at. If Roman does not lose his belt, which, again, could happen. You never know. But more than likely, he's not. <clears throat> we already know he's not coming out of an elimination chamber. He's off. So he is literally taking that belt to Mania again. So it, it opens a question, right? Who is he going to face? Is the person that wins the Rumble, are they going to cash, or not cash out, but you know what I mean, are they going to challenge him for the belt at Rumble, or are they going to go for the World Heavyweight? Because see, that's the thing, right? Now we have two titles. We have Seth's World Heavyweight title and the uh, Roman Reigns uh, Undisputed title. So <clears throat> that's what kind of puts a lot of options, and I think it's what's going to make this Mania even better. So a lot of people are predicting that uh, Gunther's actually going to win, and it's a, it's a, honestly a fair choice. I can't argue it. Like, especially after the promo he did, you know, on Raw, if you caught it, they're definitely throwing us different curveballs with different possibilities. And who knows? Maybe till right now, we don't even know who's going to win the Rumble, but, or they don't even know who's going to win the Rumble. But I mean, it, there's just so many options. So I personally do not think Gunther's going to win straight up. Here's why. <clears throat> so Seth is out and it doesn't look like they're going to make him drop his title. They're just going to, you know, have him recover. They came out. They made him give that speech of, hey, you know, I'm the, the workhorse. I'm going to work and I'm going to come and give it my all and I'm going to defend my title. So I don't think he's going to wrestle at elimination either. I think that's too soon. He's going to, I think he's going to rest up all the way to WrestleMania so that he can main event it, which makes sense, right? Because, you know, WrestleMania is the biggest event of the year. You definitely want everything stacked for that event, <clears throat> which, not gonna lie, it's making elimination chamber kind of, <laughs> um, kind of not so stacked, right? Because you know Roman's not gonna be there now. Seth's not gonna be there. So it's like, <laughs> what is Logan gonna main event it? You know? And and again, going back to my 
prior point, right? That's why I think Logan wins it, because I think he's actually going to defend it again at Elimination Chamber. Now, going back to the Men's Rumble, <clears throat> if we have The Rock actually do come back, and it's looking like it's, it's a very strong possibility, then we know that he's going to challenge or he's going to face Roman. So that automatically takes Roman off the, the table, right? So whoever wins is going to challenge Seth for the title, for the World Heavyweight. So I'm going to kill the suspense right here, and I'm, then I'll elaborate, and you give me your thoughts, right? I'm actually, two days ago, I was leaning, you know what? It might be a Drew. It might be, I don't know, maybe even Cody. But I'm thinking it's actually going to be CM fucking Punk. That's what I'm thinking right now. Hear me out. So the reason I think it's going to be CM Punk, one, we know that the fans and everybody, that's what we want to see. So it makes no sense to not give us that. Yeah, they could make us wait, build it up, but why, right? You have the momentum now. Let's capitalize on it, right? Now, here's another reason. Now, here's why I don't think it's going to be Gunther. Okay, Gunther already has an intern intern uh continental championship right whatever <laughs> okay so if gunther wins he's gonna take the intercontinental with him and face off seth i'm sorry like i know it might be a little bit of a cliche but i don't see them wasting two belts not that and i'm not saying gunther is gonna put his title on, on the line that's not what i'm saying be interesting but i'm like a kind of winner take all but no i'm just saying like why would you waste two people with two belts when you can have two different banger events, right? Like one with Gunther defending his intercontinental title and then Seth defending his world heavyweight. So that's why I personally think it's going to be CM Punk. It makes the most sense, right? Now, if The Rock doesn't come back or to face Roman, which we, again, we 100% know he's not, Roman is not going to wrestle at Elimination Chamber. So those of you that are, well, The Rock could always face him at Chamber. That's just not going to happen. And come on, man. That's more of a mania match. Why would you? I don't think Triple H would waste a Rock versus Roman at Elimination Chamber. It would 100% have to be at uh, Mania. So <clears throat> the only way that I can see maybe someone else winning is, again, if The Rock's not coming back for Mania. But I think The Rock is going to come back. I think he is going to face Roman. I think Roman is going to win. And that's why I think CM Punk wins the Rumble. And he, we get our match with Seth and CM Punk. And we have our WrestleMania Night 1 main event. And there you go. CM Punk gets to main event uh, WrestleMania Night 1. That's what I'm thinking. Now, here's the wrench. Here's the only wrench. What does that leave with Cody? That's kind of the only thing I'm thinking about. Where it's like, okay, if Cody wins, maybe Cody will win. But it's like, I... That's the thing. I don't know what Cody would do in that scenario. It seems like he's going to pretty much be, you know, left out in the cold, right? If that happens, because you, now you got two bangers, right? You got Rock, Roman, CM, and Seth. So it's like, where does that leave Cody? You know, is he going to flood face Drew again? <laughs> you know? Um, so that's the only thing. Um, overall, like I said, it's not a perfect prediction, but I'm just leaning more towards CM Punk. The only way I can see maybe CM Punk, and again, I don't know much about CM Punk's contract or whatever. But, I mean, if he's only meant to be a part-timer or he's going to have, like, a, a Roman kind of schedule, then maybe, then maybe yeah, he's probably not going to win. And he, it's just all hype, you know? Oh, yeah, I'm going to main event WrestleMania, and then, you know, he's not really going to, but who knows? But as of right now, I'm leaning towards CM Punk. Again, I just don't see the... I just don't see it. I don't see Gunther winning the Rumble, challenging Seth, and then you waste... Up with from like a booking perspective, two phenomenal matches. Like look at last year, the triple threat with Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, and Gunther. That was arguably one of the best matches of the entire WrestleMania, both nights included. Like some would argue it was the best one, but definitely top three. So why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's just my prediction. Uh, a couple surprises. I mean, I think it was hinted that Hogan might come out, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> I've always uh, enjoyed his character. I, I think it's a fun character. He's not from my time. I grew up in the Attitude Era, so, you know, Austin, The Rock, those are my guys. But I did get to see Hogan when he came back as the NWO and then when he became face again. So 
it'll it'll be interesting to to see him back and it'll be fun if he does come so i hope he does come out i also i was thinking i don't know if it has anything to do with it but i know that they're so obsessive on uh, roman reigns passing hulk hogan's record so i wonder if we're gonna get any little cool promo or face-offs there with him and roman that'd be kind of cool but who knows but yeah those are my predictions again uh just overall wanted to give my thoughts my my thoughts aren't the right ones just my thoughts so definitely feel free to comment what you think i'm really curious to see what some of you guys think let me know what you think about my comments too like you know obviously keep it respectful right but yeah no i'm definitely i always welcome you know feedback and opinions so you know, if there's like a loophole or wrench in my uh, predictions, definitely let me know. That's just what I think. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. We definitely got to check it out. See you there. And I'll catch you in the next one.